If like me, you're a fan of mock-ups, then you're gonna really be excited for this one. We've now got video mock-ups inside of Canva. Let's dive in and take a look. First of all, we're gonna actually go into a video template. I'm just gonna choose a standard 1920 by 1080 video template. And then inside of here, we're gonna come down to the apps section and then you're going to click on mockups. Now, once you're inside of mockups, there's a lot of mockups in here where you can add your products, export them if you wanted to, and they're all kind of like static, really fun to use. If you've got any kind of like print on demand business, whether that's mugs, t shirts, or any kind of like apparel, or you're doing anything you want to show on a screen, you've got all sorts of mock ups that you have in there. But we also now have video mock ups. And these are actually really exciting. So I'm just going to pick on this one first of all. And we can see this one's eight seconds long and it says to add your image. Just going to come along and on the upload section, I've just picked a template that I got from the Canva library for a business card. I'm just going to click on this. You can see that adds it to the screen. Now, if we hover over the actual area here where we've got the video playing, you can see that's going to go away and it's going to now start adding this mock-up to, or that designed to this mock-up. And it's a video mock-up, so it's actually going to have some kind of like animation to it. And we can see if I make this a little bit bigger, you can see I can fit it onto the page here. And then if we click play, that mock-up is just fits in there perfectly. But what if your design doesn't actually fit in the mock-up? We're gonna just double click on the mock-up. And once we've double clicked on the design there, we can actually change this. So if we wanted to zoom in a little bit, say it wasn't quite big enough, we didn't want, we want to have less image around the side or less space around the side, you can do. That's gonna go away and then update that mock-up for us. And I thought this would be a really great opportunity to kind of add or create a video for showing a product. So what I've done in mockups is I came along and looked for one that was a laptop. Now, some of them do have a background, but some of them also do have this kind of like gray background. And the only way that I've seen to be able to change this, if you didn't want to actually fill the whole page, and you didn't want to have like a square on there. There's two ways of doing this. You can export it and then remove the video background, which is one of the things that I did do um, for one of my options on here. If you come over to videos. This is one that I had earlier on, and you can just come to background remover, remove the background, and then when this plays, you can see it comes in. I'm just gonna ignore the one behind for a second. Okay, so you can see that it now does have that on there. And this is just a design that I added in there. Obviously, once you've exported it and removed the background, you're then not going to be able to kind of edit the image inside of there. So this image that's inside of here, as I've exported the video beforehand and then re-imported that video into Canva to create this video mock-up, then you know you'd have to then go back to the original design and edit the design or the element in there. So that's how you can remove the background on that. The other option on this is if you only wanted to say a small video would be to fill in the background, which is a similar color. If you select the background, then come over to the color palettes. You can pick, you can choose your eyedropper. And on here we can see that that then fills in the background, okay? Which is really nice and, you know, it kind of matches. If you zoom in there a little bit, you can see some difference on there and that's where you can then come in, add in your text. Let's say we want this to be new video, okay? It's gonna be a new video that I've created. Okay, we're going to come over, we're going to change the line spacings for those to be a little bit bigger. Let's say we want them to be all caps. Okay, we're going to say new video and then we're going to come over to elements, add in our shape and say watch now. Okay, just copy that down, watch now. Okay, 
move these around a little bit just so that we actually get our design looking a little bit funky and if you want the rounded corners to be less rounded you can come up here adjust those to be i find around about 24 25 works best and then we can just make sure that we've got that centered in there we can then change the color on this if we wanted to to be on the blue change the font text to be the white okay and let's say we've got our thumbnail on here and this is one of the ones where i found the fit option work best so this is a thumbnail that i've got i'm just going to drop that into the video background there i could take a screenshot of the video being on youtube or something like that but i kind of liked just dropping that in there and having that as the actual design and we'll see when it actually comes on you can see the design actually is too big for that all you do is you double click on the design and you click fit now what this is going to do is it's going to put a small black border around the top and the bottom and if i wanted it to be closer to the top or the bottom i could then move that image whilst it's got whilst i've got it selected here in the left hand panel is i can actually move that up and down as i wanted to if i wanted it in the middle i could do but i'm going to have the black bar just at the bottom and then i'm going to click apply changes and now when i click apply changes you'll see that that actually changes the way this looks on inside of the laptop in this video mock-up that we've got that we can now create in Canva. I think this is just the beginning of these um, and hopefully they do have some where we start getting transparent backgrounds. So we can see now we've actually moved that and made that fit inside of the design. It looks a lot better in there and we can just click play on this and you can see that that actually just pops up there and it's really good. If you want to, you can also add an, some animation to the text here. We can come up, we can click on animate, we can click on pan, rise, pop. I really like pop and what I want is I want the button here where it says watch now, I want those to both pop on together. So first of all, we're going to click on group. Once we've clicked group on those, you'll see that they actually now pop together. And we can obviously, if you've got Canva Pro, you can change the animation speed or the whether it animates on or off. I'm just going to have this on enter and I kind of like, the, I like the speed on that. Okay. Now all you do is come back to the beginning, click on that and you can see. If you wanted to actually change the timing of these, you can just select these, come to your three dots, click on show timing and then if you wanted to you could actually change the timing of the watch now and the video to be a little bit different so you could say we're going to do it like that so the new video comes on new video watch now the only thing left to do on there is to come over to your download section click on download as an mp4 and if you've got canva pro free trial down in the link below you can export this now as a 4k video inside of canva pro so if you want to export your video mock-ups in 4k inside of canva upgrade to canva pro try it free for 30 days down in the link below